Well, we're back home in Mexico. And checking out the yard, the pool. Uh, I have this new butterfly over here. Check it out. <laughs> I put that up here yesterday and um, two other butterflies came and checked it out. There's a Kiskadi. That might be him talking to us up there. I think that uh, some bird is going to come and grab the mechanical butterfly. That's called a Heliconia. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I just got a huge adrenaline rush. I was walking down the sidewalk here. As I walked past this big pot, that cat jumped out of here. Just as I was right here, it went right in front of me. Black and white, we got a lot of skunks around here. I didn't have time to think that it was a skunk, but boy, whew, I haven't had an adrenaline, an adrenaline rush like that for a long time. So we're back home in Mexico. I got the BMW uncovered. The band's uh, needing a little cleaning up. I haven't started the uh, the uh, Honda Foreman ATV over there yet. You know, I was reading some uh, comments this morning. I got a an email from YouTube congratulating me on 500,000 views on my video about why I moved to Mexico. And 21,000 likes I've gotten on that. So thank you, thank you, thank you all 540,000 of you and especially those of you who, uh, 21,000 of you who gave me those likes. I like you too. Of course not everybody likes it. Um, I always get those comments about, oh, you're so stupid for moving to Mexico. You know, it always amuses me greatly that people who write uh, negative, bad comments always seem to be oblivious to the fact that it says absolutely nothing about their subject matter, their audience, or the recipient of the comment, which is usually me. I mean, if you say that I'm stupid for moving to Mexico, that doesn't say anything about me. It doesn't say anything about Mexico. It only says something about the guy that wrote it. Comments always define the author, never the person reading them, only the person who wrote them. And as I said, it's just amusing to me that People who write those kind of comments don't get it. <laughs> Let me show you what stupid got me. This is my front yard. Lake Chapala, Mexico. So stupid, Jerry. So stupid. Hi friends, I'm sitting out here by the lake editing a video for you, and I keep getting distracted. It's so beautiful. The first part of the video is about our last day in the United States at my cousin's place in Arizona. So. Just a couple of things that we did there. And then our trip home to Ajijic, Mexico. And I'm looking forward to getting back to making some videos about Mexico instead of about RVing. So stay tuned.
Say what? Uber taxi right here for you. Uber. Oh, Uber? Yeah. Uber? Uber. Right here. <laughs> right here, boy. Yeah, hey. Hey. Rub it up. thinking there's no seat belt in 1955. picture of this and I want you to tell me this is the four colors of man over uh -huh. here so what's the four colors of man mean that means the the white man the black man the red man which is us uh -huh. and the yellow man the European people oh so you and I are on opposite sides of the circle what's the deal with that well it depends it goes around oh it goes around uh -huh. oh. and then here lay it down over here so I can see the Gosh, that is heavy, heavy, heavy. Yeah, I try to wear it all day. Yeah, okay. you get, and you dance with this. Yes, it's fun. So tell me about some of these other things. Okay. That's rosebud, huh? Yeah, and then, uh, well, this is sort of like a teepee. When I started beading, I wasn't really sure what to do. Yeah. This is the four colors of men this way, mm -hmm. you know, and then this is like a mixture of the world. These are shells that they find on the ocean. Mm -hmm. So they have history with that. That's our I have our cross. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So anyway, you, my cousin is the one that beaded that thing that goes with mine. This one, I started doing it and I just was having a good time. And then I decided to make a little flowers in it. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and let's see. Well, this is um, more like um, the United States, you know, because it's red, white, and blue. Yeah. And all that kind of stuff. And then that's just because of beautiful flowers. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful yeah. rose. Yeah. And then that is, uh, that's got the four colors here. The four colors of man again. Yes. Oh. Huh? I'm you okay? Sorry. These mean something. These are, yeah. Yeah, but they were um, they were found on the on the ocean or you know mm -hmm. on the yeah. thing and There's they started one collecting on the them. End of, we have a yeah. We probably saw that. Yes. Yeah. 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 So and then putting those on there is really fun. Trying to decide what to do, how to do it all with it. And then <laughs> these because I like orange, I have to make sure I have orange in a lot of places. Oh my gosh, are those little miniature beads? Mm -hmm. They're all beads. Yeah. All of these things are just little tiny beads. Look at that. It's amazing. Yeah. This is what's amazing, how she did that. Yeah, little tiny. Tiny, oh, tiny. Oh, I cannot focus on it. Yeah. Uh, oh, that. Oh, wow. Those are beads? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are really and tiny. Besides that, they use a lot of um, shells and stuff from mm -hmm. you know the ocean or wherever they can find them. Oh, Wait, did you see that one? With all the flowers. I just like I loved doing all the flowers with the red and the. And now, show me the eagle wing, and and tell me what? It, why is it that you are? allowed to have an eagle wing. Because I am a powwow dancer and yeah. I am Native American and I am registered I am a registered member of the Rosewood Sioux the Shichango tribe. Uh-huh. Lakota. Yes. Because there's Lakota, Dakota and Nakota. And thank God we're Lakota. Because it's hard to understand the Nakota and the Dakota. So that's a real eagle's wing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So when we dance, we we you know hold them up like this, and mm -hmm. then when we have to do certain things, we 
do the over and down and all over the place. Now, and what is it about if an eagle wing drops to the ground? They have to go through a ritual. Uh -huh. They have a prayer that they have to do and different rituals. And it's uh, it, they stop the powwow dancing until it's picked up by one of the elders. Yes. And and they do all of the blessing of it and everything before they pick it up. And then they, before they give it back to the person who has it, the, that person has to go through some another, prayers. And another ritual. Yeah. Wow. Well, well, thank you for sharing that, Connie. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, and you have some more. That's wow. the, the knife that goes on the back, and it's beaded. Yeah. And this is supposedly for money, if you have to carry money. Um, Wampum. Yes. <laughs> and this was something that someone gave my dad when he was a younger age, so I use it Oh, for that's dancing. nice. It's beautiful. And then this is something that I... I fixed and stuff for the daytime because when you wear all that leather and stuff when it's 110 you're dancing outside yeah oh yes. yeah so these are all uh, shells and teeth and, and stuff oh that's gorgeous yeah. too and it goes with it oh, and then this this is the thing that you have to okay this is the breastplate that i wear to, to dancing and Gail said to me, don't ever say, hey, I never gave you a mink. Because <laughs> there's two minks on here. Oh. And then this, oh. this goes these, these on are, my braids. Oh, these are real, uh -huh. like around my neck. Real little mink guys. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Harold, it. Oh, my gosh. So just imagine that with this and that other. You must have strong legs. Well, I did. That's heavy. <laughs> I don't know if I do anymore or not, but so. Can you put your hand up just on, I'll take it right away. Oh, God. So you imagine it with the other thing with yeah. all the buckskin. And, and, and what, what, is the, what is this white stuff? Uh, these are um, bones from um, deer I mean, and things that are shot. Oh. Yeah? Or, or not shot, but with bow and arrow kind yeah. of thing. And then they have plastic ones that they do also. But these are real bones. These are real. That's why it's so heavy. Yeah. Wow. And then with plus with the beads on it. And then this is the one that says uh, Mitako Yeo Yasni. And that's, that means we are all related. Mitako Yeo It's got your orange on Uh huh. That's my, one of my orange ones. And then in here. So. And this is some more of Connie's beadwork. No, it's not beadwork. It's not beadwork? Oh, no. Oh, it's, oh, it's like she stitched it. Embroidered. Embroidered. Take a walk around my cousin's backyard because they work at it. I've always liked this sign back here. Rancho cost too much. It's a bear. It's a barrel. It's a path. Oh. Ooh, a go-kart. We need to work on that.
Somebody broke their balls. This barrel cactus just intrigues me. And the saguaro is getting a little arm. And then there's the birdhouse collection. that one. We've always said this is one of our favorite camping spots because of the view. It's your last day in the United States for a while. How do you feel about that? Adios muchachos. <laughs> <laughs> have you had a good time yes. RVing? I've had a good time RVing. How soon do you want to do it again? <laughs> so what are you going to do on this lake from Dallas to Guadalajara? I'm going to talk. Oh. What are you going to do? Apparently I'm not going to finish watching my movie. You're going to be listening. Oh no, I have headphones. <laughs> Go ahead and talk all you want. I can pull those headphones out of those little layers of yours and just... Yeah. Talk and talk and talk and talk. Yeah. Here we all are. Here we are. Five rows from first class. Oh, watch for your bag. Do you think it's taking a picture now? No. <laughs> Wrong. We were three and five purple glasses. Yeah, but. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.